Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service over at Patreon. We have over 60 uh, traders there active at the moment. And if you join that um, platform, you'll also get access or the full access to the commodities analysis. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly here um, towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for the US dollar index are looking significantly better. Uh, all of them, yeah, basically, except for the uh, MACD. But the stochastic, the CCI, and the RSI are all turning, um, uh, turning around at this point, and that is a very bullish shine. So at least we are going to test the 50 moving average. Whether or not we break that, um, that's to be seen. But if we break that, then we'll go and target these previous uh, highs at uh, 93 and then also at 94. And after that, we'll head towards the 90, now to 200 uh, moving average. And of course, that will have enormous implications for, for stocks, for indices, for uh, precious metals, and especially also commodities, because there's a negative correlation between uh, what happens here and, uh, for example, in, in gold and in, in um, and oil. So if you look at oil, oil has been on an absolutely crazy goose chase the last well week and a half for whatever reason i have to just say pure speculation because i'm not a believer in this market at this moment um usually oil falls apart similar to this when you have an economic crisis in the world and we do have an economic crisis in the world so to see rallies similar to this um it is just it's just a sign of pure speculation. Of course, we received the news here that there was a vaccine. But if you go into details about that vaccine, things don't look very promising at all. And there are a lot of questions whether or not that is going to be the complete solution to the problem that the world is in at this point. And then we had, of course... Um, the numbers from the from the from the stockpile in the United States as well, which were well, they were uh, worse than expected, and therefore prices were also pressured up. But usually, those um, uh, that kind of news only affects for a few hours, and then it dies out. So at this point, we have this very 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 bearish candlestick here. If we basically uh, stop below the the previous highs of yesterday, then I would basically say that we are going to test at the 50 moving average. The technical indicators have not turned around yet for uh, in the in the hourly chart, not the hourly chart, but the daily chart. So we still have a, a bullish MACD, still a bullish stochastic, and the same goes for the CCI. Uh, the only indicator here that is showing signs of uh, of uh, of weakness is uh, is the um, is the RSI, and well, when you see the uh, the CCI turning around something similar to like this, then it's basically time to to sell this. Um, it is probably about time now. We we ran into major major resistance here, and these were also the previous highs from from this was August and September, so. We didn't get higher than this. If we basically breach this, then we would go much higher to 44 and 45. But we just don't have the demand in the world economy at the moment. This was purely based on positive news. And, and we're running out of steam at the moment. And we are just going to go back towards the 50, probably the 200. And if that breaks, then we go watch out below because we are going much lower with uh, oil. So you look at natural gas. Natural gas has started its rally, but it's a little bit choppy. It's it is a question whether or not we pull back towards the trend line or we pull back towards the 50 moving average. That is to be seen. So we have a major trend line here that we basically 
you can write it there, which we tested. We rallied from that, but today was a lot of technically noise. So that is an, an indication that we probably will go back towards this trend line again and then go for another run. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed, but the reason why I say this is because the MACD is, is, is too far away at the moment. It will take probably uh, one or three more trading days before the MACD basically turns around and we basically go to the upside significantly. So if we rally here, of course, the target is 3.3 and uh, break below this, that opens the door to the 200 moving average. So if you look at copper, Copper is basically still trading sideways. We have the highs here and we have the lows, which is also the 50 moving average. And at the moment, we're just trading in the middle. There is no reason to enter this market whatsoever. If you break above, if copper breaks above these highs, then yes, that is possible. If we break below the 50 moving average, then that is also possible. Other than that, um, pullbacks within this range or buys within this range are also possible but this is just a market that doesn't know where to go at this point um, you can also see the technical indicators they're all over the place so at this point just stay away from copper it is it is a hopeless market at this point so if you look at gold so gold Broke down significantly two days ago, and uh, now we are uh, getting even lower. And at this point, we are testing these previous lows. We got down there today at uh, 1864 and uh, then pulled back a little bit. We probably, maybe, will go lower from here. If this breaks, then of course, we'll go all the way down to 1800. And that is basically where you should go and enter this market for a buy. It's not here because it is inevitable almost that we'll go all the way down to 1800. We have tested, tried to break out from, uh, from the 50 moving average and break through this area several times. And that is not working. So at this point, a break towards the 1800 level would have an enormous amount of buying uh, behind it and therefore we most likely will go significantly um, higher in the long run. So that's what I'm technically waiting for. So if you look at silver, this is basically the same story with silver. We rallied, broke down, and now we're trading underneath the 50 moving average. Silver has not broken down as much as gold did today, but we need to break this level here around 22 23 dollar range technical indicators for for silver are much negative more negative than they are for gold at this point but silver needs to go lower before we go higher and what i expect is going to happen is that we're going to drop probably gradually or a significant drop similar to this or this down towards the 200 moving average and there we'll find support for a while and there will rally to the upside. And both for silver and gold, especially gold, um, there's going to be a lot of interaction by central banks and they will basically flood the markets with liquidity and that will be bullish for, uh, for especially gold. Um, pay attention also to the US dollar index. The same goes for it with, with, oil, with oil. If that... Um, increases in value or appreciates and then this is going to go significantly lower so if we look at cocoa so we can see it is doing exactly what we expected it to do we rallied down rallied now down this is a possible uh, selling um, opportunity i'm not interested in this because it's not my type of trading but it looks like we are turning around at least going towards 2.236 and if that breaks we are going to the very lows and there is where it becomes interesting in order to buy this because we're trading from the highs of 2.7 lows of 2.0 and at the moment we are technically right in the middle but we are do making uh, lower lows and at some point we are going to reach these lows Technical indicators for cocoa are 
they're mixed. Uh, MACD, Star Stochastic, are basically above their signal line, so they are not. They are fairly bullish at this point. CCI is flat, and the RSI is fairly bearish. So, but this is a clear sign we are going lower. It is, would be a strange if tomorrow we rally from here. It doesn't really work that way. So if you look at platinum, yes, well, it's more of the same. It is technically just hanging around in between the 50 and the 200 moving average, and it's going absolutely nowhere. So we have been in this range all the way since uh, mid-September, and now we're in the beginning of the mid-November, we are still within this range, and, and it doesn't look like we are going to leave this range anytime soon. We try to break to the upside, pull back, break to the downside. We have an enormous amount of, uh, of, um, of support, support underneath. So there is no significant reason why we should basically technically trade this. It is, um, it is basically, at the moment, a hopeless market to trade, similar to, to copper. But if you look at technical indicators, they are starting to look very negative at this point. Uh, both the MACD, Stochastic, CCI, and the RSI are all pointing to lower levels. But lower levels in this um, in platinum means to the 200 moving average and then turning around. So it's possible short-time trades. This is just not my type of trading. I like to trade when we are basically at the edges of the major support and resistance areas in order to basically enter the trades. Um, this is, uh, in my view, more gambling than trading. So if you look at sugar, we can see that we continue our fall. So we're probably going to move something similar to this and towards the 50 moving average and then bounce from there. Something similar to this and then bounce. Whether or not we break below the 50 moving average as we did here, that's to be seen. But you can just look at the technical indicators here. They're all looking very negative. And of course, if we break this area here, that is 0 0.1427, uh, then we are going towards the 50 moving average very fast. Uh, there's a lot of room to the downside. We're at 53 at this point. So th yes, this is a trade that is possible to buy into. But at this point, just wait until we reach the 50 moving average. So last but not least, we have wheat. So we pulled back significantly today, but we are still not there yet. I think that this market is going to go a little bit lower before we go higher. We are on the edge, so we may see something similar to this. A break a little bit below and then rally. The reason why I say that is because these technical indicators are very, very negative still. So we may have a break of this trend line, but we have the 50 moving average right underneath. And then we have this area here, which will also be uh, fairly supportive. So there's no reason to expect this to, to fall below the 50 moving average or break the 50 moving average. It is a matter of time before we bounce. Uh, if you've entered this market right here, you probably have to wait a little bit more because these indicators have to turn around. And at this moment, they are not turning around. We are in uptrend, and as long as that is the case, then, then yes, expect this to go higher. Uh, if we bounce from here, you will target first this, 625, and then to 637 and beyond. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. There are over 60 traders trading there at the moment. You'll get access to our trading signals, basically our live trades, and also the full technical analysis for the commodities market, where you can enter, where you should, when you should sell, and your stop loss, take profit, and so on. So good luck and thank you very much.